Okay, we're here tonight for the um, nightcap of the um, Northwest Knights versus the Edgewood Cougars here at Northwest High School. We're about to announce the starting lineups. Okay, we're on the air here with um, Edgewood going against Northwest Knights. This is the second game this evening. Uh, first game was won by the junior varsity of Northwest Knights. A pretty convincing win. And we're here at the nightcap. So Ben, what are your thoughts about the second game here tonight? I hope you see a better game than we saw in JV. It was a helter-skelter game on the first tip. center tip, won by Northwest Knights. Ball handled by Naven Love. Out to Julius Gates. Edgewoods has come out in a 3-2 uh, zone. Northwest being patient, looking for a good look. Reported tip. First one, In off the rim. Loose ball, rebounded by Northwest, kicked to the corner, another three-point attempt. That one goes in. And this time, knocked down by Nathan Love. Nathan is the second leading scorer on the team, averaging 6.5 a game. We've only played two games, so we don't have a big set to work from, left short. Un unintentional pass there, I think, Ben. But it ends up working out for Edgewood. Look from the corner, oh! Half down and would not stay down. Bit unlucky on that one. If you look on the replay, that was halfway down the rim and just bounced right out. Northwest is pressing Edgewood. Did a little bit of a roll there, right back up on his feet. Over the top, set up from the three throw stripe, short, rebounded by Edgewood. That was called. <laughs> Reach in foul, and that's the first foul of the evening for Nathan Love. <coughs> so if you look at the scoring going on with uh, Northwest this year, You've got Braden Miller averaging 10 points a game. Nathan Love, 6.5. Julius Gates, 6.5. Arian Eaglin at six points a game. Diego Young at five. So you've got four or five real pretty close to each other. A nice turn there to the basket and Rebound. blocked. Pass break. Ball. Picked up by Edgewood. That's Peyton Smith. Back and out to Even Schwartz. Back out to Even Schwartz. Nice pass inside and a nice finish from Braden Smith. Junior, six foot, two forward. And that gives 4-3 um, lead for Edgewood over Northwest. Failed to see that toe attempt. Yeah, he left the short arm that one. Ball taken up by Eddie Thompson with Edgewood. Lost possession of it. Diego Young and a pitch. 
Gives the Knights a 5-4 lead. Press it in the backcourt. Nice job of finishing it. And again, another finish from Braden Smith. That's two baskets under the basket. They actually took the JV three quarters to get up to that. Nice throw down to Miller and a finish. Knights take a seven to six lead. Ball out top. Oh, that was a reckless throw that time. Somehow Edgewood maintained possession. Eddie Thompson and a double dribble. Possession back to Dayton. Dayton, Northwest Knights. Northwest Knights have a seven to six lead here with four minutes, 35 seconds to go here. A substantial size difference down low there with um, Braden Miller. I think they're going to try to exploit that all night. What do you think, Ben? If, if that's going to go well that, that might work. I don't think they. Can you power dribble and go score? Get over, Bert. And Miss competed on the ball and goes to Northwest. This game's getting a little hectic, too. First substitution here for Edgewood coming in for Edgewood number 12, Jalen Barry subbing out Braden Smith. Braden had a couple of the early baskets. The JV game was fast paced and trying to get many lip and fast breaking things they can, but the varsity game is a different story. Trying to find the best shot selection. A little bit more patient. Has been some turnovers. And a, a charge. Who on, was it off the ball? Didn't see who that was. So it was halfway through the first quarter, we've got uh, Northwest Knights with a 7-6 lead over Edgewood. He offered that up to get stolen. And failed three-point attempt. The guy likes to shoot the threes. I'm thinking Edgewood would probably be okay with him taking threes rather than posting up down low. They're probably giving up four or five inches down low right there. And missed. At least. Triple switch. Diego, you got three. You got number three. This side, you know who you have? To the three throw line. This is Diego Young. Knocks it down. Gives the Knights a two point lead. Has to be impatient, looking for good luck. Down low again. Block and, and finish. The varsity's getting it, doing a good job again down low. And that's a foul on Miller. That's his first team. The team first. Great penetration right well, that's there. That's four fouls actually. And, one. and yep, and that gives um, Edgewood a 9-8 lead. So far, a good battle here. Very good battle. Very contested. Again, trying to post up Miller down low. See if the refs let him play. A nice and pass one. off the ball. Great positioning, great zone, good, great finish, good, and the and one. Nice pass from the big guy. Number 24 on the run, 
Nice walk, good finish. pass. Nice Let's have on the arm. Two have on the arm in the finish. Well, well done. Give Miller a break here, bringing in number five. Take it up to you. Keep it up to you. For Northwest, that is Mikel Humans. Let's see if he can knock down the three here, Ben. The old conventional three. And it's converted, 11 to nine. Makes it a two point ball game. Laid on first quarter. That's a three pointer for Bryce Bibbs. Going to the rim. And a nice and finish. And it's tied. I think they know with the big guy out, they can definitely challenge the rim. Oh, did he run into the railing? He needs to get, he needs to get, he needs, um, see Mick. He needs to see some attention by the trainer. Mm. That's got to hurt. Let's see the replay. Oh! Oh, that has got to hurt. You know, they're probably put there for handicap access, I bet. You know those railings coming down? They look like they're, they've been installed. Maybe haven't always been there. I said that about oh, a rainbow! What a shot. Bringing down rain on that one. <coughs> Knocking down the three there. That was what a shot. Hayes Ford and Ross and the freshman. That. I missed that, but I heard it was great. That was a freshman for Northwest. This place is getting loud after that three. Oh, a nice pass down low. And, the and another game. basket. They did a one-point ball game. Edge was doing a great job of getting down low. Oh, he wants to shoot it again. Let's go the other way, number 10. Oh, no. Tried to get out the bank, but doesn't convert. And a foul. Here's the replay. That's almost a frustration foul there. Oh, oh. oh. that's why they... <laughs> he tripped him, tripped over his feet. <laughs> That was a that was a nice move. Cost them and then, over. And then you and then you make it even better by knocking down a three. Yeah. He just got dusted by a freshman. He will not want to watch game film of that one. He's, he's also he also played in the oh. game. Oh. failed the mid range. Oh, that's a silly foul. Reach over. That's six fouls already for the Knights. They're going to be shooting a lot of three throws. That's just an um, unnecessary foul there. You're not going to get the ball. Good first quarter here, 14-13. Think about his options. Looking for that back door. Right up a three. And that and one's short, convert. rebound. Find a way to rebound, but. Knocked, he out, the ball for knocked out by Northwest. Getting ready to inbound the ball for Edgewood. Peyton Smith. Peyton missed the layup. Getting out to run for Northwest. Cross them over and, and get a charge. That's two fouls in the last, like, minute. Picked up two quick fouls, one on the charge and one on the reach over the top. Substitution, bringing out Diego and bringing in um, Julius Gates. Less than a minute here to go in the first quarter. The Knights up 14 to 13 over Edgewood. Being patient, kicking it outside. Jason Sizemore to the rim and fouled. They are taking a definite effort of challenging at the rim and it's paying off for them. That's eight fouls for the Knights. They're gonna be shooting three throws for the rest of the half. Step into the, the charity stripe for um, Edgewood, number three, Peyton Smith. Knocks the first one down. 
We now get a tie game, 14 to 14. Got one more coming here. Setting, release, good. And hits, and hits, both. hits both, that gives um, the lead back to um, Edgewood. Edgewood's Cougars hanging tough here in the first quarter. The quick trade Sam catch and shoot, and it's no good. Ball to the ground, and a travel. Better officiating we're seeing the varsity game. He still looks in a little pain from hitting that railing. Coming. Foul away from the ball. Hold. Nice, and now it's, it's nice there. little short jumper there from um, Bryce Bibbs. That gives him five for the quarter. Oh, gave him a head fake to the rim. And it goes hard on the floor again. And a foul. Who's fouling Gates? He lo they're, they're making him love the ground. No, it wasn't Gates. It was 11. <laughs> Fell on the stairs and fell twice on the floor. I think he could have been on one of two. I guess it was Bryce Bibbs. Could have really chosen either one. That's nine fouls on Knights. Knights are in foul trouble here in the first quarter, but missed. Missed the front end. Late foul. Bailed, bailed him out on that foul. Really have time to catch and shoot here. Only got 1.7. That's like the highest day record game. There you go. That's what I was thinking. You were going to mention that. <laughs> Very good. Inside. Take the block. But they got touch. it. Oh. They almost did it. That was a design play, did not work. End of the first quarter, the Northwest Knights 16, Edgewood in an exciting battle here in the Southwest Ohio Conference. Subbing in at the beginning of the second quarter, number 21, Trevante Thomas. Trevante is another freshman. Yeah, it's two freshmen, uh, Trevante Thomas and Desai Bronson. And we'll remember Desai's crossover dribble that, that put the Edgewood player on the four and then buried the three. That was probably the play of the quarter there in the first quarter. Any other insights you have in the first quarter, Ben? What was that? Any other insights you have came in the first quarter? Nope. None? Okay. Okay, so Edgewood gets the ball first here in the second quarter. Trailing the Northwest Knights 16 to 15. Um, interesting thing in the first quarter is Edgewood got a lot of their points down low in the block. Which probably wouldn't have figured to begin with. Jake Valera is a new sub in. Wow, no foul. Got the ball blocked, clean block. Luis Gates to the rim, and, and a miss. Rebound, A little bit of and contact, one. and there's a foul on the rebound. <laughs> he was happy about the basket, but he just got a little bit of chewing out from his coach. That's another freshman for um, Northwest. 21, Trevante Thomas. The freshmen are balling tonight at Northwest. Yep. 
That appears to be the first basket of the year for first points of the year for Dramonte. Right away, was fired up. Missed the end one, but get the ball back. So that gives the Knights a three point lead here. With the ball, checking in the ball. The B ball. <laughs> Gravante caught him nap and was not able to finish. Probably made a smart move. Nice block. Crossover, block, rebound. Blocked. On the rim. And they keep after it and on they the get another and basket. And, 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 and one for the same guy. Not, not the same guy. Starting to assert their dominance on the glass. The fourth, on the fourth chance they get it. Luck. Kale Yeomans with the basket and a chance to Luck. convert the three. Active on the rim. Block. And then one more. And couldn't get the fourth one. I mean, he made the fourth one, but couldn't get the shot. If you can't make, play. try again and try again and then make it. Let's see if he can convert this three. He's not able to. Rebound. Avante, and he finished another basket. Avante Thomas. <laughs> All of a sudden, jumping out to a seven point lead. Edwards needs a basket here to slow down the momentum. Three-point attempt. Oh. Failed to hit the backboard. Rebound off, off of <coughs> Northwest. And inbounds for Edgewood. Edgewood Badly needs a hoop here to stem some of the momentum from Northwest Knights. Ball dribbled out on the edge. And uh, nice still dribble. a piece. Travel. He still looks a little banged up from that railing collision. For real. Here's the Knights with the chance to extend the lead to nine or 10 here. Got a couple of old style threes. Oh! And a travel. Look, he extended an elbow on that one. That was a little physical. Oh, he raised the arm on that one. If this was college, they'd be looking for a flagrant foul on that one. I don't know, do they have that in high school? No, but it, they could go to a modern day one. He extended it out. He, he definitely could have got a flagrant one if they had it. Look, he didn't get called for a reach there. That's, a, that's a block. That's a good call. He jumped underneath them. First game, we had a couple like that. Yeah, he never gave him a chance to land. The end one. Another and one opportunity. That's the third one here in this quarter. We're only a minute and a half in. Let's we'll see if they can convert it. The last one they did not convert. That's Julius Gates at the line for Northwest. Chance to convert it, to jump it to a 10 point lead if he could knock it down. And he knocked it down. This one they do convert. Makes it a 10 point ball game. A, what, 9 0 run in this quarter so far? I'm not sure Edgewood has scored yet, have they? I think they scored a layup. Yeah. All of a sudden they can't get the ball down low like they could before. Edgewood badly in need of a basket. They're extending their defense and they're taking taking away the down low drive in the last quarter. And in and out. Tried to put it in. A little bit of pressure was not able to convert it. Gates gonna take it to the rim. Good kick. The three point attempt oh. is outside of the, the rim. Good luck. Edgewood's gonna try to rush it up, get it up the court before they can settle. Step up. And, and a huge three. three for Edgewood. Timeout, Edgewood. That was a big three. 
dropped it back to a seven. That was a little bit of a momentum breaker. So with five, five minutes to go here, 5.09 to go in the first half, got the Edgewood, North, Northwest Knight had jumped it out to a seven point lead. Got a couple guys subbing back in. Miller, a couple of the starters, Miller, and also Diego Young, who went to the bench midway through the first quarter on those two quick fouls. Edgewood definitely needed that three there at the at that spot, right, Ben? Yep. We get another Battle of Ohio this weekend, Ben. Are the the Bengals finally going to figure out the Cleveland Browns? I think so. Hopefully. Hopefully we beat the um, Massage Defender for, for once. We can't lose to the Chiefs and we can't beat the Browns. Very strange. That was a great game on Sunday, though. It was. I thought we were going to lose that game for a sec. Yep. I would have told a Chiefs fan, they said, we cheated, we cheated. The rest helped, the rest helped you, I said. But we had, they, we had the most penalties, so what's your point? Yep. Chiefs fans are always complaining about the reffing. And my boss is a um, Browns fan, so it'll be good. Gates with and an do, attempt from boss. the corner. Chance for Edgewood to take it down to four. Oh, I thought it was going down, but it was not. Oh, there's a, there's a carry. They let him get away, but that one, you can't let that one get away. The stiff arm. And Mixon will get a starting job back, too. Yeah. We know I like to run a lot. Three-point attempt. Oh, he got, he got it in his face there, changed his shot. Outside. And oh. Nope. Whoa. Oh, quickness. Three-point attempt. Bryce Bibbs and, and it's good. at three. That's eight for Bibbs. Bibbs has had a strong quarter. I feel like he foot I think he foot, he foot, on, his foot, on, his foot was on the line. Hey, it was close. Chance here, Bibbs gonna go to the rim. And a finish. Over the lane. Strong second quarter here. That puts him at what, eight points? At 33, it's a final run for the Northwest Knights. Northwest is taking a 16-15 battle and jumped it out to 12. A strong second quarter here. Defense has gotten a lot firmer inside. The cut in and give it back. Cut in once again, and uh, the oh. mid-range jumper failed to connect. Well, that's, I didn't nice sure change of direction there. <laughs> Big difference here is um, Edgewood is now not able to get it inside like they were in the first half. First quarter. Miller subbing out for Northwest. Coming in, Mikel Yeomans. Step into the three throw line for the Northwest Knights is um, number two, Diego Young. I think we've got a one and one here. Knock down the first one. Got one more coming. Chance to jump the lead to 14 here. Knights have a 31 18 lead. Bounce it once, bounce it twice, bounce it three, four, and it leaves it short. Edgewood again in need of a basket to stem the tide here. Lost foul. Seemed like that was kind of a light call there. It looks like he kind of more lost his footing than anything. Special 
Subbing back in for Northwest. We got Braden Miller, number 24. Number 10, TJ Griffin. First one good. Double change. That was knocked down by Peyton Smith. Peyton's got one more coming here. Chance to cut the lead to 31-20 if he can knock this one down. And he does. Throw into the Knights. Works with nice Diego Young. Bryce Bibbs back to Diego. Diego down, broken it down there. Bryce Bibbs stepping up and knocks what? down another three. What a jumper that kid had. What, what a quarter this kid's had between the conventional three and the two other threes. Breakout game. And a quick reach. Now Northwest is a theme rolling for this quarter. Unbelievable. I think he's got, what, 11 points this quarter? 11 points this half. Bibbs. Bibbs came in averaging 3.5 a game, so this is really a breakout game for him. His statement game. So. I'm with you. I like that. I like that three point. He's got a good. He's got a good release on that. He reminds me of Zed Key, the Ohio State shooting guard. Shout out to Zed Key. I love the jumper, boy. He, he, he has been a key for them jumping out to this huge lead. Missed it. Missed it. Free one again. Giving away a couple this quarter. That's about it though. Really good quarter for the Knights. Dolan, once again. See if they're gonna convert it. Diego Young from behind and a finish. And just like that, the Knights are up by 16, 36 to 20. It's a 20 to five run this, this quarter. And they still got two minutes left to score more points. Tried to beat Gates on the dribble, did not. That's a nice pass. Oh. And a, oh! He fought it went in, then he turned his head back and did not go in. No. Northwest with a break there. They needed that basket to break the tide a little bit. Oh, and a walk. Good defense there from Edgewood. Minute 49 to go here in the first half. And the Knights have extended it to a 36 to 20 lead. Subbing back in is the Trevante Thomas. Subbing out is Julius Gates. Bringing the ball up the court for Edgewood is number four, Eddie Thompson. Oh, it got blocked. <laughs> Thought he had a double dribble there. Sending out the defense. Defense has really gotten strong this half. What was that, a three call? Is that a five second call? See what the call was there, Ben? No. No. Minute 24 to go here in the quarter, a chance to extend the lead. Already up 36-20. It had to be a charge. Probably look for Bibbs in the corner and he'll take it again. Oh, halfway down. First miss in this quarter. Edgewood's kind of trying to bring it up. Missed. Almost got the board, Hefted but the rebound, no the got it. One minute to go here in the quarter. Going to try to get out to the corner. Miller down low, and a finish. Well executed offense right there. How about Northwest? A really good quarter for Northwest. They've outscored them 22 to five this quarter. It was a great Take game it. in the first quarter, but man, Northwest is getting a five point quarter for uh, Northwest. I mean, for five point quarter for Edgewood. He's checking into me, but I'm not the right guy to check into, Ben. The guy to my left is the guy that needs to mark him on the scorecard. What did he say? He was checking in. He pointed at me and said, I'm in. And I said, good. Enjoy <laughs> yourself, man. <laughs> Enjoy those 25 seconds. Enjoy that moment of glory. If you have a three, take it. 
The coach says don't shoot, just ignore it, shoot. Yes. <laughs> you only live once. You don't, you, you miss 100%, you miss, you miss 100% the shots you don't take. Yeah. <laughs> Better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Yep. <laughs> and if you make them, great, great job. Yep. You miss them, to the enjoy. Bench. Enjoy. <laughs> enjoy being a bench warmer. <laughs> So the Edgewood Knights, Edgewood Knights, I'm sorry, Edgewood Cougars, really in need of a basket. Lots of turnovers and not a lot of baskets. They got poked in the eye a little bit. Uh, oh, no, no. a steal. And thought about the dunk, but wasn't tall enough on the layup. Well, I'm not giving an excuse, but he got poked in the eye there. I think he got a little bit distracted. Almost dropped the hammer down. He was the guy that I checked in, though, so. I don't think I have anything to. Here goes the off the dunk it. Oh, a push off. You can see that foul. The freshmen are playing a little bit like freshmen in the last minute or so. He's still got, he got a finger in the eye there. It's still bothering him. I'm surprised they're not subbing him out. Maybe they are. Miller and Gates getting ready to sub in for Northwest. Ooh. First one. Massive substitutions here. Seven seconds to go here. Offensive substitutions for um, Northwest. And makes, misses the first, Knocked makes the second. Cut it to 15. Can you make a buzzer beater? He wants to take it to the rim. Hit it, hit it, shoot it. Oh, no. and that's the end of the first that would have been That would have been dead key. I mean, uh, Taylor no. Holden. So end of the first half, the Northwest Knights with a 38 to 23 lead over the Edgewood Cougars. Very tight first quarter, second quarter controlled by Northwest as they went on a 22 to eight run, taking a 16-15 first quarter out to 38-23. Ben will be back here for an exciting second half of action here in the Southwestern Ohio Conference. Sports are about more than just wins and losses. Sports establish life lessons that stay with athletes long after they finish competing, whether on the field, court, at a meet or match, or in a pool. And who do we rely on to help build and foster that foundation? Coaches, ones that teach and inspire. Less than one third of our country's six million coaches have been trained in youth development practices. So please join Life Sports at The Ohio State University and the Ohio High School Athletic Association as we partner with the Susan Crown Exchange on its Million Coaches Challenge. Let's support coaches as they help athletes work together, celebrate success. Manage setbacks, handle stress, deal with adversity, and get the tools they need to succeed in life. Simply put, coaches need strategies to support their athletes' mental health and well-being. Together, let's learn how to coach beyond the mat. Coach beyond the diamond. Coach beyond the track. Coach beyond the pitch. Coach beyond the field. Coach beyond the tee. Coach beyond the court. The impact a coach can have in the development of a young person cannot be measured. Inside and outside of competition. More than a sport. More than a coach. Life. Learn more by visiting our website at go.osu.edu slash coachbeyond for more information. and they will be taking the inbound. Other action tonight in um, the Southwest Conference. We got Talawanda at Harrison. It's um, Ross at Mount Healthy and Edgewood at Northwest. And the three point from deep. 
Who knocked that down? Yeah, from five, five feet up on the arc. Who was it? Um, number, the guy pressing right now, number th three, I believe. Three? He was giving it a look. Half the ball. Almost could have been a walk there. Edgewood did a good job in the first quarter of getting the ball inside. They had no luck in the second quarter. In the first half, leading the scoring for um, Edgewood was um, Braden Smith with 11 points. And for um, Northwest, the leading scorer was Bryce Bibbs with 13. From deep. Open three, no, and no out. luck. In and out. Bibbs with a nice outlet pass to Gates. Gates gonna take it to the rim and probably and gonna charge. get a charge. <coughs> in that situation, it's better to pull up and take the shot, the short jumper, or kick it out to the other side to get the layup. Eighteen point lead, back to eighteen for the Northwest Knights. Edgewood, unlike the freshman game, Edgewood cannot knock down the threes. They're trying to get to the rim and then tough task. And big guy. No foul. Nope, that was clean block. Trying to get an inbound. Edgewood just doesn't have an outside shooter from what I can see. Everybody wants to take it to the rim and they're just getting rejected. Here's Bryce Bibbs out to the wing. Down low to Miller. Miller across the arm, no, jump ball. A lot of times when they reach down like that, they're gonna get a foul call, but that time they got the jump ball. Get another one. Edgewood trying to find a hole in that defense and not having any luck at all. They might, maybe that time though. Nice job left, he went to the opposite hand, nice finish. That was Peyton Smith again, that puts him for 13 for the game. Seems a little bit recovered from that incident with the railing. Back out the gates up top for the three and no. Love the jumper that kid has for real. Nope. They're gonna beat him down the court. Oh, nice block, but he got a foul. The late call too. Almost. I guess he didn't. Let's look at that replay to see if he got ball. Oh, looks right like when he, he come down, right when he, he got down. all ball, no? He got his, he got his. Did he cross the arm? Side arm. Even if you get a clean block, most times you're gonna call that. And free throw for Bryce. That gives him 14 on the game. As we mentioned in the first game, this is a breakout game for Bryce Bibbs. Chance for 15 points, missed. Jinx him. Back out to a 17 point lead for Edgewood, for um, Northwest Knights. And a three. Something they're needing. So I guess it wouldn't be surprising Payne Smith's leading him in scoring tonight. He's leading him for the season as well, 17 points a game. That's pretty good. 
That is cool. Yep. We'll get to the end. Peyton is a um, senior. Oh, that's cool. He might be looking at him. I'll check him out. Yeah. I don't see that kind of name at Ohio State. I'm not sure he's A1. Oh, and, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Edgewood has found the range and cut it to 11. A little mini run here, getting a little sloppy with the basketball. Definitely getting Another back. turnover. Edgewood sneaking their way in with the threes. Oh, nice block. And the ball lands to the tallest guy on the floor. That, oh, that's a walk. He was looking for that pass and it went away and he committed the turnover because it would have been a turnover if he threw it. Nice block by um, the guard. Diego Young, quick hands. Here's a chance for Edgewood to knock it under double digits. They haven't been that low since early in the second quarter. See if they might spot up for another three. Oh, and that, that would be huge. Out. That would have been a massive three. That would have cut it to eight. It got a little cold here in the second, third quarter. Knights. I thought he might roll it back from. Oh, we're not, not looking. They're not looking past. Oh, no, that right. would have been a contender for assist of the year. The, the, the no look pass. Oh. I saw that coming. What? I saw that chant coming. Yeah, you, you should you guys. You don't need to say that, yeah, of course you will. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <coughs> Might have, lucky he didn't get a push off there. You know, Northwest played a really good second quarter, but this first, this, this third quarter is looking kind of like the first quarter, maybe even a little sloppier. Yeah. They're definitely giving Edgewood a chance to get back in this game. They have their foot on the pedal in the second quarter. <coughs> That's a hustle play from Edgewood. It's a good, it's a foul, but it's a good foul. He's going for it. Yeah, that, that has to be a foul call. Split a little bit. Lots of turnovers here in this quarter. Whoa, we almost had a turnover there. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, off the ball. Just got. A, a little touch of the rim. Hey, 20 to 50. 20 to 50. Off the ball foul. They were wrestling. I don't know about that. Seemed like they were both entangled. Julius, move over. It's almost like he wrapped his arms inside him. He couldn't get off him.
Edgewood trying to get it under double digits here. You feel if they can get it under range. 10, down to nine. So what was a 20 point lead is what, nine? They've just all of a sudden gotten cold. They were getting points off their defense in the last quarter and they're not stopping quite like they were. Fight about the mid-range shot. And Did he call a foul. Grab him on the wrist. It kind of looked like Northwest had it in cruise control, but now it's, it's a, it's a game, it's only nine. Trying to catch him looking. Over the back kind of shot. Oh, and a nice, and a great nice hustle up. by three, big basket. They needed that basket. Northwest, and it puts it back to a double digit lead to 11. Last couple possessions in this quarter could be huge. If Edgewood could convert another three, get it down to like seven or eight, that would put them in good position for the fourth. Fun about the three. It would be impatient. They want a good possession this time. You thought about it, but it would have been a difficult shot. That would have been a big basket. Great, great hustle and good rebound. Shot. That's just not a very good block out on Northwest. That was too easy. That's Eddie Thompson with the rebound and the chance to go to the free throw line to cut it under 10 again. Northwest gets the ball after this possession. They're going to take the last shot here. This is the first. Missed opportunity there. Keeps it at 11. Subbing in for Edgewood. That's number two, Anthony Babb. One more chance to cut it to 10. Got it. Down to 10 here. And Northwest probably gonna take the last shot here. That's what coaches want. See if they're patient enough to do that. Inside 10 seconds. Nice step up. Hey, I'm about oh, to nearly about to beat her. It, so, a good run here in this third quarter for Edgewood. Got themselves back in the game. It's only a 10 point lead going into the fourth quarter. So this game is still up in the air. One thing that uh, North Edgewood got that quarter event is he did knock down a couple of threes. a little bit, I uh, can't really hear over the band, I'll try. Oh, okay. So going into tonight's game, we got Ross at two and one. We've got Edgewood at one and one. Calwanda one and one, Mount Healthy one and three. Harrison zero and two, and Northwest zero and two. So Northwest, in terms of this, they're actually trying to get their first win tonight. Early, very early in the season, so hard to get any trends from this yet. Tuesday night, Edgewood beat Franklin 55 to 35, convincing win. <coughs> Mount Healthy beat Batavia 55-51. Monroe 62 to 57 over Monroe. Ross 62 to 7 over Monroe. In their last time out on last Saturday, Aiken beat Northwest 56 to 53. So up to 12 point lead now. Stay down. 
Nice pass down, good defense. They're gonna try to run here, get it to 14. Nice, nice catch by Bibbs and a nice finish. Northwest running away with it now. 17 for Bibbs. Good run here at the beginning of the quarter. Just like that, 14 points. <coughs> All created off a good defensive play by Julius Gates. Down low, but he's not gonna be able to finish there. And Whoa, what a rebound. Big name, hold up. We're good. Keep guarding. Keep guarding. Edge was knocked down a couple of threes, but they've also missed a couple lately. Ball's touched by Northwest. And Edge was in the break there. Subbing in, coming out, Julius Gates. Subbing in for Northwest is Michael Yeomans. Michael Yeomans. Edgewood into the backcourt. Ball possessed by Eddie Thompson. Eddie Thompson out to the wing. Edgewood wants a good shot here to get the lead back down to a manageable number of 14. Is where it's at right now. He's thinking of it. He wants to take it closer. Edge will take the three every once in a while, but they're not a three-point shooting team, really. Mm -hmm. Good defense from Ross. like a foul to me on that possession. I thought that was pretty clean. It was. And the ref was behind the play because I don't think he could have seen the foul if it had happened. Tried a sneak play there. Backfired. Chance here for the Knights to take it out to a commanding lead. Kind of a soft pass there. Wants to take it to the rim. Foul down low. Foul on the floor. Ball, ball taken out of bounds. First half, um, Northwest committed a lot of fouls. This half, it's only their um, fifth foul. Good job of jumping out. Doing a good job of protecting the rim. Again, Northwest is extending their defense, and that's creating points on the other end. Big three. Big basket for Edgewood, cuts it back to 11. Makes it a manageable number. Overall, I think he's been a pretty well ref game. Northwest is bringing it up the court. Yokin. Pick out high. We'll maybe do a pick and roll there. 
Shot be uh, foul before the shot, so it wouldn't count. Foul on the floor. Call the chop there. Bibbs, nice move. Oh, and, uh, tough the, shot, up, up tough the, shot. Off the front of the rim. They could knock down a three here. They could put it down to eight. Down to nine. There again, we're under double digits with five minutes to go. This game is not over yet. Subbing in, getting ready to sub in for the Knights is Gates. Soft pass there. Nine points and the ball. This, Coach, could, this could get interesting. Coach Nick for Northwest and not liking the, the referee. And they switch it. And it's Northwest ball. Oh, wow. Gotcha. Big possession here for both sides. If you're on Northwest, you really don't have to rush it here. You just gotta get a good shot. You got a nine point lead with four and a half minutes to go. That's it's not stolen. a good pass. He just didn't get any height on it. Didn't take advantage of it. And it converted. And like that, it's seven. Now they're in striking distance. It went from 14 to seven, just like that. Big, big possession here. If you're Northwest, you can still afford to be patient. You gotta score on this basket or it's really gonna get tight. Can they finish it out? They're extending the defense. Stolen once again. Good defense, chance to take it to five. Well, oh, a huge block. That was massive, and this could be a big conversion here. Two shots. <coughs> that may be the play of the game right there. Because you had a chance to knock it to five, now you go to the three throw line with a chance to take it back to nine. Huge block by Miller here. That was the basket. To cut it to nine. But right here is a huge block. Takes it back to eight. So they had a chance to get it to five. Now they have a chance to extend it to nine. They made an eight point ball game. Yep, that was. Big, big switch there. Oh, and, and the in one. and out. And New York's with that about. Chance here to cut it to six or five. Oh, and another big block. And a reach. <coughs> and a backcourt foul. And you might have given them two points. Another four point flip. Oh, what a play by Jokic. <laughs> That's his second big block in this game. He had a nice block in the first half, I think. Chance with Gates to take it back out to 10. So two huge. Defensive plays converting to potential points on the other side. These are big here. Got it. Makes the first one so you get the other shot. Takes it back out to nine. Those two defensive possessions will be remembered as Northwest holds on to win. And missed the second one. They've done that a lot. Got the first one, missed the second one. So it's still a ball game. You, you, you knock down a three here, it's a two possession game. Oh! 21 is on fire. He has been massive here in the second half. Now it's only a six point game. Great screen by number 24. You can still afford to be patient. There, there's a nice conversion there. Well, well run offense. What a great screen by. Big basket. By, by, by <laughs> Brandon Miller, what a great screen. Yep, that was that was a strong play. Now he's got to respect the three. Oh, that would have been huge. And a foul. A oh, three. he called that on Edgewood. Oh, he called a walk. I thought he was calling a foul. 
Big call right there. They would have been going to the three throw line with the chance to take it to six. Now it's eight with a little under three. So if you're Northwest, you don't, no reason to rush it here. You can run clock. You just don't want to make, turn it over. <coughs> Gonna do the roll again. You can just be patient, kick it outside. There's no reason you really have to shoot the ball at all. Clock's your, clock is your favorite, your friend. I'd probably run it to two and maybe call a timeout. And a foul. Here's a foul. Well, Off the ball. Hmm. That's close. Two big three throws coming up for the Knights here. If they can knock down both and take it out to 10, it's going to be tough for Edgewood. Give Edgewood credit, though. They could have given up tonight, and they've come back from 20-plus down. Made a game of this. He misses oh, he it. Missed, he it. missed it. Oh, missed three throws have been a. They missed a lot of three throws this half. That's one of the reasons that Edgewood's had a chance to come back in it. This could be a big three. Look for 21 to step up and knock down another three. <laughs> He's been hot. They know it too, though. They, they're covering it. Oh, nice Huge finish. layup. And six. And a timeout. Again, we're down to six. They just have not been able to finish this out. Yep. The fight's on again. Come on. Go Bucks. There's about a minute and a half to go here in the game. We got a contest. 52 to 46. A valiant effort from Edgewood here in the second half. What was it? 20, 22 point lead, now it's six. Playing on the road too. It's only early in the season, but if you're Edgewood and you're 0-2, you want to get a victory tonight. Northwest had the great second quarter, jumped up 16, 18, 20 points. The rest of the second half, they kind of struggled. But they have the lead. They really don't need to rush it. Sorry if you heard the language, kids. But in a way, you got a minute 37 to go. They nope. have not been knocking down three, so a foul might not be a bad thing. And don't worry, kids. They're using their senses and hamsters. These are big three throws here for Northwest. That was a big one. That takes it to a three-score difference now. But can they knock down the second? All night, they've gotten one and never the second again. They've given up a ton of points. At least it was a one and one, so he needed the one. Oh, that was a walk. Yep, took the steps. Huge, huge turnover there. So if you're Edgewood, you almost have to foul here. You can't take let a lot of clock go off. You only got seven point, seven points with a minute 29 to go. And these rats are not making the right calls either. I, I gotta agree with the fans. That was a light call, but it worked to their advantage because he missed the three throw. But some of the calls they're making are not good. Yeah, overall they haven't been bad, but a couple of them. But the, those are game changing though. Oh, there's a foul off the ball. Those are game changing, a lot of game changing. So let's see if for the first time, you know, they, and remember, can they knock down both? We got a double bonus now, right? 
No, you gotta, it's gotta be 14. What? It's gotta be 14. No, 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 it's only in high school, it's only 10. It is? Yeah, 10 is double bonus. Seven and ten. Again, miss, tons of missed three throws. Those missed three throws have really left the door open for Edgewood. I'd say 50% in the second half, maybe. You still want to knock down the second one. Missed them both, but a big rebound. Now they go back to the line and see if they can make or miss again. Northwest is doing themselves no favors here in the second half with all the missed three throws. Back. Wow, ben. that one was. It's it's becoming contagious now. I don't want to be at the line either. Once it starts missing, it's like missing PKs, Ben. Yeah. He got the second one, though. It's like Marquinhos with Brazil. <laughs> Double doink. <laughs> we got a minute to go here. The how try to 21 is going to. That was the got him spotted. Oh, up. off the glass. Did he call the bank? I don't think he called it. It doesn't count if he doesn't call it. Now five. So you just gotta let run clock, maybe get a turnover, Walk. timeout. Wow. Uh, I'm rooting for Edgewood. I just Edgewood, I'm for Edgewood is not giving up. I'm rooting for Edgewood to pull this off. <laughs> 21 has had a massive second half. I said they couldn't shoot threes. They've shot them this half. It's gonna come down to three throws, and you know who isn't making them is Northwest. I hope nobody turned the TV off or the internet off on this game. You just never know. We got 48 seconds to go here. First, first job is to get the ball in bounds. Second job is how much clock do they let run off before they foul? Uh, we don't want to get caught in the corner. Down to 30, 30 seconds here. Big, big three throws here. And, it's and he got a lot of rim, but he put that down. This is the big one. This makes it a three possession game if he can knock it down, but they haven't knocked down two three throws and I can't remember how long. Is the rice water in his veins? Is he gonna knock this one down? Oh, he got a little bit of roll, but he got them both. Two big three throws. Now they're on borrowed time. They gotta make this one. If he makes this one, it could be interesting, but it's short, and that's gonna, that's probably gonna do it. We got 20 seconds to go. Two big three throws there, though, from, it, from Northwest. Took it to a three score lead with 20 seconds to go. It's gonna take a heck of an effort for um, Edgewood to win this one now. We're sending it to overtime. Well, I talked about the seven threes. They only need three. Oh, and they missed that three throw again. It's like a big barn door they're keeping open. 
Still, it's a three possession game, though. They should even get on his head. That one he knocked down. That's nail cost. That's nothing. So nails. they don't have much. You just don't want to foul if you're Northwest. You don't want to create a four point need a play. Three and a block. Oh. That's it. No, it's oh, not. Maybe not. Nope. Yep, don't is. foul. Oh! You just don't try to block it there. You don't want to stop the clock. But it's, co it's coffin nails, though. Yeah, don't let him score. Yeah, but with an eight point lead, there's no reason to try to block. Just let him get the rim, right? Because here's the scenario now, right? You miss the you miss the three throw, you kick it out to the corner, knock down a three. Now all of a sudden, it's a three point game. You got to make three throws. It is possible now. He intentionally missed it. I like guess I want because he's gonna knock down a three. Oh, that's oh that was the strategy, but that's yeah. You might make it just to make it interesting. No. And the Knights survive. A scary second half for the Knights with a commanding 20 point lead. But they do hang on and get a six point lead. Despite the heroic efforts of number 21, even Schwartz, who had a massive second half, Bryce Bibbs had a massive first half, even Schwartz really gave him a chance. So, good game.